Shadow Legends video. I made myself a kind of um, not like a deal or whatnot. I'm trying to trying to trying to trying to upload more. Now I'm going to say this in this video. Don't hold me to it, right? I'm going to try and upload a raid video every day, whether that's live raids. Now, again, don't hold me to that because don't forget, for those of you that don't know, I have a full-time job. So I get up at 5 in the morning, I don't get back in till about 6. Which leaves me however much time to just, you know, settle in, eat, shower, get ready, you know, this kind of stuff. So, do not hold me to it. I don't schedule for the exact reason that if I say I will do this, I won't do it. Okay, it's, so I don't schedule these things, but I'm going to try... And upload at least a raid video every day until Christmas it's currently the second I will try my very best do not hold me to it though because you'll be let down so anyways I'm on my second account this time it's the first time I've ever shown you guys anything on my second account um, nowhere near as high up as I am on my other account as I'll show you my champions here however I have more legendaries on this account, which is just amazing. So these are kind. That's kind. Of, this is kind of it. You know, I don't have any more than this at the moment. Um, but my three legendaries are Blood Gorged, Razin, Scarhide, and El Not El El Elenaril. I just call it Elnari because that's an easier word to pronounce. Um, I actually was upgrading my Draconis. To, uh, to four star at the time, and I thought, well, I need another three star. I will just uh, just open an ancient shard, and uh, yeah, she came out of that ancient shard, and I wasn't recording or anything, and it was a uh, yeah, it, it was yeah. <laughs> Didn't complain though. She's really good against the clan boss. She's amazing. I've never used her in arena, so I don't know if she's good or bad. We'll try her in a minute, I suppose. You can see I've got a five-star Thinaseal, Kale, and Apothecary, and then my Mother Superior, Draconis, and Knight Errant are the only other ones that I've got five-starred. So I don't have as much on this account. Um, nowhere near as as, uh, as advanced as I could be. Uh, we'll refresh this, and we'll see if we can get something we can attack. So, yeah, this is kind of this is kind of the team I use. Um, I've got. Razin and Blood Gorged in there for the damage. Uh, Thenasil is really good because of his oak skinned ability, which gives everybody a heal. I'll tell you what, let's just battle and we can do this whilst we battle. Because 30k team power is what I've got on this account at the moment. So I've got Blood Gorge, who's really good for this Raging Beast ability. It attacks all enemies, put one of each target skills on cooldown. That's kind of my opening move on this account. So he puts all of these guys' skills on cooldown, and then I boost my speed. Use my uh, Oak Skin to give everyone more defense, and then use Razin's ability to decrease the turn meter. And it's kind of, that's how it goes. And then my Blood Gorge hits incredibly hard. He's definitely the best one on here. And then I've got Denisu who can also remove the buffs. So this is a really, really cool team. I really like this team. It's really good. But, you know, I am very, very... Uh, I'm not, you know, end game as such. You know, I know that it's only really good at the moment until I start coming up against like legendary teams and things like that, which I don't even come up against on my, you know, main account properly yet. I've only recently started showing up against, you know, some decent teams. <clears throat> Excuse me, I'm losing my voice. Time to open up a Dr. Pepper. Let me guys know, are you a Dr. Pepper or a Coke guy? Dr. Pepper wins every time for me. So let's up that defense. Bog down. 
See that that ability hits so hard, it's amazing. Blood Gorge, I think it's called Decapitate or Behead. Is it called Decapitate? I can't remember. We'll have a look in a minute. It hits so hard, he's amazing. What's it called? Decapitate, yeah. We'll ignore defense. A hundred percent of their defense. So if they've got four thousand defense, it doesn't matter, he just ignores it. And they can't be revived afterwards. He's amazing. We've kind of got a bit of everything here. So like I said, we've got our two damage dealers in Rosin and Blood Gorged. And then Apothecary for support and heals. And Thenosil for support and heals. It's kind of a it's kind of a, a bit of everything. So you know, 60% defense on top of the shield that I get from Thenosil because I have him in a uh, shield set. Look at that 12k. It's so good. But yeah, I have him in a shield set. And then rosin has got his defense down as well. If if I for some reason need it, Blood Gorge will probably kill him right now, which he does. Weak weak affinity, but it doesn't matter. Blood Gorge doesn't care. He's not interested. Like, even his basic ignores defense. I yeah, I do like this team. If this is kind of the only team I've got. You know, I don't really have anybody else. What's this team power? 23. See, if we get rid of... Let's get rid of Apothecary. And let's try... Edelyn, whatever her name is. See, she's got... We've got more team power. The problem is, she's kind of... I don't know. I don't, let's see. Let's see what she does. So, we're still going to play this like we would be normally. Give everybody defense. Get rid of the turn meter and kill everybody before we get a chance. So what have we got? We've got attacks one enemy, 50% chance of placing HP burn. It's okay. Attacks all enemies, places 5% poison debuff. For two turns, places another if it's crit. Yeah, and then instantly deal damage. So that just kills everybody. So yeah, she's kind of just built for... Um, we won't be able to beat that. Ooh, this is going to be a good one. Okay, let's put Apothecary back in because I feel like I'm going to need some heals. Let's give it a go. Fuck it. Fuck it. Let's try it. We might lose this one. Okay, that's fine. Most the speed we want to be able to go first. Give us some defense. Now, I do know that the only problem this team has is that get rid of you right now yeah try and revive him no okay so we're doing all right we won that the only problem this team has is that it kind of relies on blood gorged and rosin to kill everything before they get a chance so if they don't kill then i kind of struggle that's kind of one of the problems i've noticed that i've had um, yeah i didn't mean to press that I was kind of hoping to refresh, but it doesn't look like I can. Without paying, we can just auto this. See, that's the cool thing about Blood Gorge as well. If you stick him on auto, he defaults to his, uh, the ability that puts everybody else's skills on cooldown, which is amazing. I do, I really like him. He's amazing. He's such a good champion. Am I going to spend gems? For four raids. Oh, you guys are lucky I like you. This is where I find that I can't actually beat anybody. Oh, 31 there. Okay. We can probably beat this. If we get a turn. There we go. Just... Yeah, this is kind of how this 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 account is, is at at the moment. You know, like I said, I don't really have anything else on here. I've... Uh, not been long playing it and I also don't really have like I said at the beginning because I work a full time job it's kind of it's hard to keep up on one account you know let alone two so um it's yeah although I have more legendaries I don't have as much time so I, I'm kind of stuck to one account at the minute but you know I, I do I come on every day for the dailies and things like that and that's kind of it another pretty much equal well so you know I'm slowly working on it 
I haven't found a way to maximize my efficient yet. I've also been saving every shard I've got. I do play on three accounts, however, the third one is definitely not even close to any of these. Um, and I've been saving up all my shards. That ability is so insane. I love that so much. But yeah, um, saving up all my shards on all my uh, all my accounts for the next double event. Which I am really looking forward to. I can't wait for it. So hopefully I'll be able to pull more then. There's going to be a couple of shard opening videos coming soon. Provided they actually bring out a double event. Which I'm kind of hoping. This guy's got a legendary. Who is this? Taylor Gourmet. If I remember correctly, she's not very good. But Let's give it a go. We're going to go first. Give everybody a cooldown. Defense. And then remove all the turn meter. Okay, get rid of her. Oh wow, she's very, very tanky apparently. That's the first enemy today that's managed to survive a decapitate. But then Rosin just comes in and fucks him off anyway, so <laughs> not like he did much. Awesome, so. Oh, we've even got more decreased defense. Yeah, this team does have everything other than uh, attack down. Kind of the only thing. So you've got that big heal there from him. And that's game. Apothecary is really good as well. I'm sure most of you guys already know who Apothecary is. So I don't need to sit there and rave on about him. He's someone I, I don't really appreciate as much on my main account. As much as I probably should. I know I ought to you know give him a bit more credit than it's due but I just I don't really oh hello we might lose here yeah I don't have as much a need for him on my main account as I do on like this account so is this gonna kill the kale or do we just play it safe and kill let's go for kale oh yes it is nearly 14k on that one oh god yeah we'll win this one just Even on a weak hit, you fuck. Yes. Yes. Well, there you go. Ten raids, nice and easy. I hope I've shown off Blood Gorge to his max. <laughs> yeah. You guys know, you know, I'm I'm really, really enjoying making these at the moment. And even though even though you're probably not learning anything, you know, I, I definitely don't upload these with the intent to guide anybody at the moment. I really, really want to. I really do. But I don't know enough. And I'm not going to sit there and make videos on stuff that I'm not 100% on. Because yeah, it's just a waste of time in the end. And if you guys don't want to be watching a video about something where the person has no idea what he's talking about. So I will not waste your guys' time. But yeah, that's where I'm at on my other account. As you can see in my vault. It's all pretty much stuff that's being used for food and stuff like that. Um, those four stars are going to get used on somebody eventually. Knight Knight Errant is someone I want to get up um, because of his his is it death warrant? Yeah, that ability is supposed to hit incredibly hard, but obviously mine isn't maxed out yet or ascended up high enough to to warrant using him. Uh, Seer is another one who's really good apparently for a nuka, but obviously a four star, she doesn't hit nearly as hard as the videos do. And yeah, that's kind of it. You know, we've got Kale here, who's not built properly yet. So yeah, there's just a lot going on at the moment on uh, across accounts. So let's hope that these type of videos um, do well. Uh, going to try and commit to making a raid video a day, like I said. But do not quote me on it. If I miss a day here and there, I do apologise. It's the first time I've actually gone for a video a day. Uh, maybe it will be you know Monday to Saturday and then I'll have Sunday off I don't know yet how I'm gonna do it the good thing about not being a full-time youtuber is that I can kind of uh, you know make these videos when I want not you know when I have to and that's kind of it, it makes stuff like this much more enjoyable because there's no time limit you know I can make eight of these right now and upload them whenever I want I can upload them next month if I want to you know there's no guideline but I'm going to try my best, we'll see where it goes, 
if you guys have enjoyed listening to me talk shit, I do appreciate it. Please leave a like if you uh, if you did enjoy that. Leave a dislike if you didn't for whatever reason. Subscribe if you are new around here. Links to socials and things like that are there. The main one is obviously the Discord server if you would be interested. I'm going to set up a raid server if enough of you want that, where we can all talk raid and all of that good stuff. It's been acid. I'll let you go. Have a good day. Night. Forever. See you in a bit.